Clash Mini, like every new game, have its own secrets. Today, I'm gonna be showing you seven secrets you don't know about this game. Some of them are very helpful strategies, so stick around to know them all. Secret number one. Did you know that during a battle, you can actually move the board and look at it from different perspectives? This might not be very helpful, but it's very cool to look at the board from different angles. Secret number two. Did you know you can only earn a maximum of 30 elixir per battle? Games can go a maximum of 5 rounds and you get 6 elixir per round. Which means having decks that cost lower will leak your elixir, while having decks that cost higher will make it impossible to use all your minis. Secret number 3. Did you know you can choose which star ability you want when upgrading a mini? This one is insane game changer and I see a lot of people, even YouTubers or pro players, not know about it. For example, I want to add the Dissipate ability for my Mini P.E.K.K.A. so their Countess would lose energy every time the Mini P.E.K.K.A. swings. Or maybe I want my P.E.K.K.A. to be tankier instead of deal extra damage, so I activated her shield ability. Well, if you're not, just tap on your Mini and choose the ability you want. If you like the content of this video, consider subscribing to make sure you don't miss out on future videos. Back to our topic. Secret number 4. This might be the most useless one of them all, but did you know this screen can actually be scrolled? Well, it took me 4 days to realize. Secret number 5. Clash Mini is surprisingly the first and only game among all Supercell games to have volume sliders. Secret number 6. Did you know you can actually sell your minis for full price back? Yes, this includes the price of upgrades. Let me explain why this is very useful, especially for round 1 setups. Let's say you want to start with either Mega Knight and something small like Spear Goblin, or Electro Wizard and a small tank like Skeleton Guard. But on your starting hand, you only got Guard and Spear Goblin, and refreshing can risk not getting any of the options. Well, just place your guard and spear goblin on the field, then refresh. If you got Mega Knight, refund your guard and put it on your field. But if you got Ewis, you can refund your spear goblin and place it. Refund stays at 100% price, even if you do it rounds later. Keep that in your mind. Secret number seven: You can actually hold a mini during a battle to check how many HD is left on it. Simple yet extremely useful. Let me know in the comments down below if this was useful or how many of those were new to you. And consider sharing it to other people, they might learn something new.